Welcome to Philip Capital's weekly market watch. Last week, the market have shown signs of our trend. This week, we have Madeline Chong, CFD dealer from Philip Securities, to comment on the rally and what it means for the investor. So, Madeline, do you think the rally is sustainable? Okay, I think first and foremost, we have to understand how the market trends have formed. Then we can understand how this news or this round of good news is able to sustain this rally. Um, to form a trend in the market, there has to be a series of news of a consistent sentiment. In this case, the continuum of news released for the past one year has been bearish and hence the bear trend. Now, as the government stepped up the efforts to tackle the deepening financial crisis, market acknowledges the efforts by the rally, but reality soon sets in and the gains are reversed. So take for example, you know, um, the government they formalized the bail plans, uh, market rally, but market tanked the game when they realized that these measures do not target recessionary rules. So the Fed then cut rates, you know, and uh, I think the other global um, central banks also cut their rates. And this helped to ease the recessionary fears and market rallied again. But if you look at it, uh, monetary policies will take six months to exert its effect on the economy. Um, and meanwhile, the data streaming in are negative. So from my, um, from my perspective, the market has risen too fast and too strong. And I do have reasons to believe that market is likely to give up the gains from this rally. So you're saying that this is not the bottom? I think we can take a reference from historical perspective. If we look at 1997 Asia financial crisis, uh, the market went down to about 64% from its high. And if you look at um, the 2001 tech bubble, it went down by about 54%. So what we are looking at are figures of 1,004 and 1,800 uh, respectively. And many financial practitioners, I think they think that this uh, financial crisis could be worse uh, than previously. So, and I think it's, it's, it does look that way because this crisis originates from US and it's about the financial system. So if you look at the financial system, it forms the basis of the economy and without a sound financial system, you know, we could go back to days of barter trade even. Um, it's a bit extreme, yes, okay. Um, then if you look at the adage that um, the US sneezes, the world catches a cold, I think now it's the US is catching the cold. So while well, I think we may be near the bottom, uh, this may yet to be it. In this case, does it mean that we have to brace ourselves for the worst? I think economy-wise, uh, I think we're just the beginning of a global recession. Um, we are likely to see a few more quarters of poor results at least. And right now, most of the layoffs are confined to in the financial industry. And given that um, you know the latest economic data pointing to slowing growth, slowing exports, lesser vis visitors to Singapore, I do think that um, the X will expand and fall upon other industries like manufacturing and service sectors. And small businesses in the heartland are likely to, to risk business failures and we know things were really bad when we hear of family tragedies and I think that will indicate to us very strongly that things are at its bleakest. When should investors who are armed with cash enter the market then? Okay, given the extent of this impact due to this financial crisis, I think we are looking at a U-shaped recession um, and bearing further shocks to the economy, um, volatility in the market should begin to ease off and I think market will enter into a sideways trend. To digress and spend a little on uh, volatility, when we talk about volati volatility, I'm looking at um, the volatility index on Chicago Board Options of Exchange, which it actually hit an intraday peak of 84 and it come off uh, sharply to 60 at this point in time. Um, now, VIX measures uh, market expectations of volatility for the next 30 days. A high index will mean that investors are more afraid and expect big market swings. Now, a low index will mean investors are more comfortable that they can predict the market directions. And so with a much lower index, volatility index in time to come, it could also indicate a consolidation phase for long-term investors to come in. And also another point, uh, our market is still attempting to price in the impact of global recession. Uh, on the corporate earnings and we find that many research analysts right, they are busy downgrading the share prices, uh, the target prices of these companies that they cover and I think an overzealous reaction could occur such that um, you know you find that companies begin to perform above analyst expectations and I think that's when the market realised that views have been too bearish and investors will start to come in to buy these companies again. What's your take for us in the short term? Okay. If we use the most basic uh, technical indicator too, we are looking at a moving average. Well, uh, some shares may have broken past the 20-day uh, moving average, 
but the resistance remains at the 40 day and the 50 days and in fact uh, most of them the 50 day 100 day 200 day form a parallel line indicating that the trend the downtrend has not reversed and for those who are more sophisticated who use uh, the Rohinder more the Rahu Mohinda oscillator IMO, they will notice that despite the rally for the past few days, the indicator still show the long-term trend is bearish. Um, so, you know, coupled with a look at economic fundamentals, investors need to note that um, just because share prices are rallying at this point in time, it doesn't mean, you know, people who, who are retrenched suddenly get back their job or that suddenly, you know, customers will flock to travel agencies and start booking their travel packages. Um, you know, so I would actually consider perhaps shorting the rallies to a more concrete signals uh, show us that the bear has been short dead. Thank you, Madeline. With that, we come to the end of this week's Market Watch. Join next week for more market updates.